Welcome back to State of the Day. Uh, today is uh, July 20th, um, and today we're going to talk about the Patriots of Woman in Childbirth, who is named Saint Margaret. She was a virgin and a martyr. Margaret, known as Ma Marana in the East, was a young Christian martyr for the faith. However, both the time and the place of her martyrdom was unknown. She went on to become one of the most popular saints of the Middle Ages and was numbered among the four, 14 holy healers. Her legendary acts state that she was a count list of Christianity. As a result, her father, a pagan priest of Antokon in Pasida, cast her out of the family home. Later, she tended sheep and caught the eye of the prefix Obiwas, who became infatuated with her. However, when she spawned his advances, he changed her, charged her with being a Christian. In person, Margaret, in prison, Margaret had an encounter with the devil in the form of a dragon. Supposedly, he swallowed Margaret, but the cross was carried in virtually his throat and Margaret was re -gurgitized. She became vin vitreous as the patrons of women in the childbirth. When accepts when attempts at excursion failed, many who witnessed what took place was convinced. Eventually, Margaret was beheaded, probably, probably during the procession of Da Da Sertin around 304. It is said that one of the voices Saint Joan of Arc heard was that of Saint Margaret. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Difficult decisions based on principle of religion or religion, convention, conversion, can sometimes be hard to sustain. St. Margaret's life showed the wisdom of say, sustaining oneself through God's love in one's own conversions, reaching, reached under the guidance of an experienced spiritual director. Loving God, come to our aid in this of in times of difficulty and temptation. Through the examples and incarnations of your virgin and martyr Saint Ma Margaret, enable us to remain faithful to you. This this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you.